But anyways, this had a handicap bar on it right there, like you see in this low step in shower. I took the handicap bar off. I'll be coming back to smooth this out and paint it this color down at the bottom. You'll never know nothing was there. But at least now it has a pretty little towel rack. And toilet, sink. Let's go see what Steve's doing. Today, those are my corners. I cut plexi glass, 29 and a half by 26, 27. Put this in there. It's drying right now. Instead of spending $150 on a huge window, the broken glass, we just measure it. Pick up some plexi and cut it down to size. Pop them in there. Here's the white shutters. I don't know if I showed you that before. Those will go up. So, we do have some gray siding. I wanted to show you what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Hey! That's what it's going to look like. So the whole house in here and over there, this gray and white is going to come up here. So that was the old stuff that we took down. So the windows will go up, the two I just fixed, I'll have no more issues of water getting in. Down below the skirting will come next once we get the siding up. And we'll redo the railings. This is what it's looking like so far. Then I have Mr. Steven. He's pulling up some flooring. Let's go see what he's doing. Oh, I did put the chandelier up. Look what Steve did. It has to get chandelier little lights and it's going to look so pretty. So let's see what he's doing in here. It's a brand new stove for the master uh, stove. <laughs> Toilet. Oh yeah. There's this old OSB because we're going to be putting down some glue on and then putting down some flooring that she liked. I'm going to have to patch another piece. Some floor. Yeah, it looks like a sinking toilet, huh? It is. Toilets always have issues. This is why we like to rip our floors up. Because we, it's like a band aid, you never know until you take them up. But the new toilet's going to go there, so. Yeah, our focus in this house is right now is we're going to work our way. We're going to do the master bath. I just put up another towel rack there. And then the kitchen, we're going to go in there too. And we'll be doing the floors in there. Um, when they had to fix the outside and do everything right, we're going to redo some drywall there. There was some damage. Easy fix. But the next focus point is going to be the kitchen. We have the vent hood. We've got to get the right one to be able to vent it properly and we got blinds up and stuff but we had to place a good bit of stuff flooring in here so the same flooring from the laundry area all the way through the house all flooring except for the bedrooms the bedrooms are going to have carpet and we're going to put the same flooring that's going to be in her master I'm going to put it in here. It has a little bit of grayish brown tones to it, so it'll look really pretty in here. So I'm done with this today. I'll help him throw some flooring away, and then we'll call it a day and go home and rest. And yes, tomorrow's Sunday, we're going to take a day off.
call back that guy that wanted us to check his mobile home out to buy. Oh, wait a minute. I got an email.